Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I'm coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. So, all that stuff back there. Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean... Yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? Right. <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Should we look?
There's any truth in there. It's a fun game. It's not you lost when you first began. You got what you want. Now you can hardly stand it, though. By now you know it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. Until you wise up No, it's not going to stop Until you wise up No, it's not going to stop So just give up Technique needs work Hey, uh, yeah, I guess you're found that Of course Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you do, I can't believe you the, you fucking Frenched him. You know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. French, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Light up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing. Never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, or... You can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. Not long ago. Wonder if it was near here.
False. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. God, what the hell? numbers Someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry, or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because, you see, oh, help! Help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you ask Nick? Okay, I'm sure he'd love to rescue you. I'm ignoring you. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? It's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, stop being a Attack! Happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little clean. Well, you know what I mean, like, like this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be this summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay. Oh, look. How about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey. Where you going? Come on! Huh? Emma! Jacob! Over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, 
It was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? what? Seriously? That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what... She needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick! Go! Okay, I got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Come on, let's get back to the fire. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
have naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Who the fuck are you? Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. The tower. Jump free of your troubles, fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves, but Often, when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, good, but... I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose.
Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Well, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm all attacked. Where's Abby? Super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Did I, did I get, is, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because my teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. No, uh, Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's... And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that hurt. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He just needs a doctor. Proper medical attention. And a shrink, too, probably. I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. I know how to use it. Sort of. Ryan, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Oh, fucking fuck! Ah! What the hell, man? You almost shot me! I didn't know it was you! Sorry! <sighs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with you? Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running. Like as fast as I could. From the lake. 
Yeah, and then and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a like a booby trap, like some sort of hunter's trap. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop. So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge, like right now. Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah. No, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, alright? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get! Fuck. Yeah. Fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another uh, run in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs? and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what, sorry, I'm bending. Oh. Explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> so, this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little. I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? 
Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. You know what Jacob's real problem is? He thinks he's starring in his own movie. He sees everything like it's happening to him. She says, recording her own reality show. Ugh, whatever. He wants to be with me because he thinks it'll make him happy, when I don't think he's even ever thought about what I want. Okay, that's not true. Honestly, I think I'm deflecting. I know he'll meet someone at college and forget all about me. Good for him. He deserves it. Maybe I should start going all freaky clingy and stuff. Maybe that'll scare him off. Like, like show up at his house in a, in a wedding dress or something like that. Loki actually considering it. But hey, here I go again, trying to turn everything I do into some sort of dramatic experiment. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open? the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death. There are literally no great answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. there's something up there and it is 
not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore.
Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh man, I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. 